5G is here. But what comes next? In this paper, we are talking about broadband connectivity in 6G and how we can reach 1 terabit per second. The data speed is a product of two factors, the bandwidth and the spectral efficiency. In 5G, we might reach up to 1 gigahertz of bandwidth and a spectral efficiency of 50 bit per second hertz or something around that, which gives us 50 gigabit per second. And that is far from the 1000 gigabit per second that represents 1 terabit per second. In this paper, we are reviewing three categories of 6G enabling technologies that are operating at the spectrum level, at the infrastructure level, and at the protocol level. At the spectrum level, we need to get more bandwidth. And that can be done by moving up in the millimeter wave spectrum above 100 gigahertz, and potentially going all the way up to the terahertz bands or optical ranges. At the infrastructure level, we can make use of new, innovative multi-antenna technologies. It could be ultra-large, massive MIMO. It could be distributed antennas in the form of cell-free networks. It could be intelligent reflecting surfaces. Or we can integrate satellite into our cellular networks of the day and use the same technology for both access and backhauling. At the protocol level, we need to deal with the high complexity of having very high bit rates. For example, in terms of channel coding, but also interference mitigation, and uh, we can use things like coded caching to make things more efficient, and also add artificial intelligence or machine learning on top of the network to make them even more efficient. In summary, there is a variety of research problems to address in order to reach one terabit per second. So if you are interested in how we can reach all these goals, you should read this paper.